Yo, <clears throat> what's going on? 67 on the squad today. We're here doing a ranked 1v1. Top comment was Chevalanke, so I'm a so I'm a show. That's that's the real word I should have said. I'm a show y'all if I can do anything with it. Let's find out. Oh the diamond Poseidon, eh? Definitely not the best thing that could happen to me, but it could be worse. And, you know, at least it's not Bologna or fucking Erling Shen or anything that could just slap me hard. Or, you know, Hoi or any other hunter. At least it's a mage. And mages, I think I might have a chance against. Not a good one, especially a Poseidon, but a chance nonetheless. Let's see what we got. I like my pink sword handle. It's kind of lit. Minions have spawned. Is he doing his blue? My blue, you little bastard. He tried to do my blue. You you cheeky little shit. Well. We caught him. We caught him in the act. Of him trying to steal my blue. We got a kill. We got first blood. We got my blue buff. And now we stopped him from doing his blue too. Man, he's got to be annoyed. I'm not going to pick that one up because I want to get red buff. <laughs> That's crazy. We're actually so far ahead already. Oh my god. Just because. Like, literally just because he didn't show himself anywhere. I guaranteed he was at a buff. I wasn't expecting him to be at mine, but he was, which was a good little misdirection. It does a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, I mean, shit. We in here now. He's not level 5 yet. We'll clear this wave and then we'll do red. I just don't want him to crack in this. Oh shit, he got level 5. Okay, well this buff is definitely not mine then. Unless I can maybe get him to crack in me. That'd be pretty nice. Oh. Okay. Sweet. Cracking down. We both have Aegis, which granted is probably not very good. But my autos hit hard as fuck. Please don't hit me. Oof. That hit me, imagine. I'm gonna just stay. He's got no uh he's got no mana pots, so him using up his mana here is eventually gonna get me the red buff. Or get me killed, I suppose. It also happen. He's got no mana, boys. We in this shit. We in this. Wait, he has his three. Okay. Okay, he's got nothing up. Oh, God. This is a bad decision, man. I gotta turn my one off so it doesn't hit him and I don't grab aggro from everything. Alright, perfect. Oh, God. Oh, I actually hit him with that. Okay. Okay. He's slowly regaining mana because he has 
that thing. I have 2,600 gold. I'm extremely scared of him. And he's really not scared of me. Oh! Oh my god. That fucking alt, dude. That was terrifying. Alright, he's got no more mana. This time, for real? We got the red buff. Hey! <laughs> All it took was a five minute battle at less than 200 health each for way, way, way too long. And my first back at 3,100 gold. But we got the red buff, hell yeah. <laughs> That's insane. <clears throat> That's incredible. I gotta say, I gotta admit, this guy, huge testicles, alright? Insane gameplay. This should be a fun game. Unless he's one of those people that like, plays really aggressive but then surrenders at 5 minutes because he played aggressive and lost, in which case, it won't be a good game. But if he's not one of those people, we're in it, boys. Well, I wish I didn't get stuck on the fucking wall. What does my alt do? I'm just getting movement speed. That ain't worth it. Oh my god, I chunk. 170 in auto. I wish that hit him. Is it blue on? He does. Okay. I'll just go over here. I'm assuming he wants to crack at me, which I'm all good with because I got Aegis up. Wow, I do, I do a lot of damage. Okay, let's go back. Get our Damahe boots. And I'm gonna go probably into Aussie right now, but if things start going south and uh, he gets a kill on me or something while I'm going into this Aussie, because Aussie is pretty expensive now, I'll probably switch it up and go into like a Genji's maybe, just because I don't want to fall too far behind. Right now I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm a little bit ahead, which is enough for me to box, basically. Because he has the better god. Oh, one auto does so much damage. Oh my god. Oh, he ages my long range auto. That was sick. He's gonna crack in me. <sighs> He wants to crack in the shit out of me. Oh god, help. Whoa. Okay. That was close. Uh, I don't know why he didn't crack in. He was saving it for Nam. How much is Aussie? 1900? Can't get it yet. Luckily he's dead for another couple seconds, so I'll clear this wave. Might as well do my blue too, I guess. If I can, I don't know. I might die. <laughs> no, I actually do a lot of damage. Holy shit. It's going into defense. I think I'm in... I'm just going to hold back on the Aussie a little bit. And I'm going to go into... Uh, <clears throat> into XE just because he's going to the defense now and I got sprint just because I'm fighting a Poseidon and 
When you're fighting a Poseidon, you should pretty much always just assume that they're going to be building Gem of Iso at some point. And if they have Gem of Iso and you don't have Sprint, then you're in for, uh, for a rough one. He still has Kraken, by the way, so keep that in mind. Oh my god, my auto did 220 damage to him. I'm just trying to bully him a little bit, but he's playing really passive. No bully today, no bully today. I have Aegis, he thinks he's slick. I Aegis the, uh... actually, I can... I'll sprint this. I should be able to catch up. This two is going to wear out. All right, that was a sick play, actually. Holding that corner was actually a sick play. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. I didn't think his cooldowns would be up in time because he doesn't have cooldown boots. So, good play, dude. Good play, honestly. Uh, he gets my tower. No, he doesn't get my tower. He doesn't really get anything. He just gets that kill. But it does bring him back up to my level and my gold, so that's not good. But, uh... What does my passive do now? How do I... What's, what's the button for, like... Oh, this. Okay. You've done damage in Powering Dead of Night. Gain 5 physical power permanently. Okay, so I have 20 extra physical power just for my passive. You finished defense. Oh, my boy. Oh, he still thinks that expel... Um... He still thinks that Xbox Alt stuns if you're moving when it ends, which it doesn't. They actually took that out. Xbox Alt, for those people, I I never play Xbox, so I doubt that many people know this. Um, because a lot of people don't watch patch notes, shit like that. Um, Xbox Alt, you don't have to stop anymore. It, it doesn't stun. You can just keep fucking running away. <laughs> it doesn't stun. So you're good if you want to just... Just sprint away, you're good. But for those who don't know, like this Poseidon, uh, it's pretty good. Because it's almost like it didn't get nerfed. I picked up a red buff. I have a lot of power, I have 253 power. Dude. I do enough damage to consider myself Kronos at this point. Oh shit. Ah. That uh that 3 I had to do in order to uh to dodge the Kraken. Oh, I guess the knockoff. I didn't dodge the full Kraken. But the knockup I had to do to dodge the crack, or the three, sorry, that I had to do to dodge the knockup of the Kraken actually kind of fucked me up a little bit. It was, uh, made me take a few extra tower shots. He's not tanky, or, yeah, I was going to say he's not tanky enough to do Bull Demon, but he is tanky enough to do Bull Demon. But my point still stands because we just finished a fight, so he's not healthy enough to do Bull Demon is what I should say. My passive is now maxed out. I have 30 permanent increased power, which is really good. Um, so I can actually sell my boots for attack speed boots if I want. I don't think I'm going to go for the movement speed pot this game. I think boots is just decent. Ah, uh, probably dead here. Uh, maybe not. Uh, he did go Toxic Blade, which makes me not want to build Aussie. He's very, very fast. I think I might go Frostbound, actually. He doesn't... Ah, uh, he does have Sprint. Shit. Hmm. I don't know 
if I actually want to complete this Aussie now that I see that he's got his shit up. That Toxic Blade is a little annoying. Ah, I'm not good. Alright, I'm cool with that. That's his cracking down, that's his two down. Get this. Nice. Okay, so that play I just made there, it was a little bit risky because I, I jumped through and then I Aegis, right? Like, all right, dashed through and then I Aegis. The reason that I Aegis was because I wanted to stop the damage of his one. Thankfully for me, he used his one while I was Aegis. So that big chunk of damage, like 400 damage, didn't actually hit me. So I was able to win that fight. Uh, the reason that play is so risky is because obviously he has the option not to use the one for a couple of extra seconds. And I would have just died. There's, I mean, as long as he hit it, right? So that's why that play was a little risky, but I felt like it was a play that I had to make because I don't think there was a way I was going to get out of that alive if I gave him time, you know? The only way that I make it out of there alive is if I don't give him any time at all. He's very, very fast. I'm dead. Yep. Yep. That's probably, probably my phoenix. He has incredible clear, very high attack speed because of his build, and uh, I didn't clear the minion wave, so that's my Phoenix. Oh shit, um, I'm gonna go Frostbound. I guess not even to mention that he's pretty tanky, so he can just tank that bitch for a while. Got it. Damn. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Clearing fire minions is not Shabalanka's forte. But neither is dealing with late game Poseidon. I'm honestly just trying to like stem some bleeding right now. I don't want to fight him because I don't have Aegis. If he crackens me, I just die and then I lose the game, so. <laughs> I'm just trying to waste time <clears throat> until I get my Aegis up and I can potentially win a fight. Backpedal and clear wave, dude. I'm gonna, I am actually back in there, by the way. I know that red buff is spawning, but um, he can easily just show up and crack at me, and I didn't have Aegis up yet, so. So he gets red buff, but. Maybe he doesn't get red buff. Red buff is still up. actually gave me red buff. That's crazy. Oh, I did a lot of damage to him actually there. Nice. I poked him out really, really well there. Okay. All right, all right, all right. He's got gem now. Uh, I've got my frostbound now. I'm going to upgrade my sprint first because it gives me that hasten fatalis effect, which might actually come in handy a lot. So 
I'm scared, guys. I'm, I'm really scared. If I fuck up, I lose the game. If he fucks up, he loses a phoenix, so... He's got leeway, I don't. Maybe he's doing bull demon. That'd be ideal for me. He is doing it. Good. It's ideal for me because I don't give a shit about bull demon. <laughs> he's just gonna go retake phoenix. Fine with that. He may actually just go and alt my titan, which would be terrible for me. I hit him with my two. Back off. Ah. Damn, I used Sprint there. But, I mean, he used Kraken there, so I guess it's kind of okay. I have Frostbound, so if I land my auto, I should be able to win the fight. But, again, he's super fast. He sprinted away, actually. Ran that way, huh? <clears throat> Alright. So far, we're good. We still got our Aegis up for um, next Kraken. He just back, which hopefully means we get that red buff. If we get the red buff, he has no sprint, so I can chase him down with Frostbound. If we get this red buff, we might be able to turn this game. Might. Pretty big fucking might, dude. Mm, nope. Still dead. Yep, that's game. Fuck, dude. Fuck, that damage was just so much. His one hit me for 641. Even though I... Because I Aegis Kraken, but he held one, and the one still did damage to me. Did 641 damage. He's got Spear and Demonic combined. Fuck, man. That was about the best game I could possibly have for Shevalanke. Made it to late game, 22 minutes in. He's spam laughing. But we made it... Uh, Super late game against a Poseidon as Shevalanke, and we were ahead most of the game, so that's about the best game I can ask for. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, guys, peace.